Okay, this is a comparison of the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition Blu-ray box sets for the UK and the USA versions. The reason for this is if you're in the UK and you don't know this already, but the Extended Edition of the DVDs, when they came out, this is the DVD, um, this is the American version, and if you're in the UK version, you may be surprised that the American version got a much nicer packaging than the UK one. You're already going, what? This is actually decent, nice cardboard. It feels really nice, looks really nice. Looks like a book, essentially. This is kind of, I don't actually own the UK version, but this is the kind of cardboard that the UK version is printed on. It's just like this, just as flimsy, just as, as cheap, essentially. Which means the UK consumer's definitely got a bit of a short, short thrift, if you ask me. Um, I mean, that's actually, I can't even squeeze that. It's very thick, it's very nice. Uh, the insides, to uh, Entertainment Videos Credit, who the company released in the UK, it seems to be identical. Um, but if you own the DVD, it's, you might be interested to know what the Blu-ray versions, if there's any differences between the UK version and the American version, so you can make a choice when you come to buying. Um, first of all, here's the American edition. This is what was released over there. It's very nice, I think. It's not, I mean, it doesn't, it's not as nice as the DVDs, obviously. I think a lot of people would feel that. Um, it's a bit of a shame. It looks kind of goldy and it doesn't feel like an old book, which is a nice uh, thing that they did on the DVD. But nevertheless, this is a nice, heavy, um, thick cardboard box. It's actually slightly embossed here. Everything here is all nice and gold and, um, as I say, embossed. The printing's a little off. It's not centered. Bit of a pain, but probably just mine. Um, yeah, it's nice enough. Uh, opens out, it's kind of closed with a magnet. Open it up. Map of Middle Earth. Some characters who are important to the film, some who aren't. <laughs> and the Blu rays themselves, which is quite nice. Three of them in there. Just take them out, you can see, come in these black cases, quite nice. Again, this is the American version. Printed on gold paper there, just like the box, so it's reflective. It's not embossed, but it does look very nice, I think. I think the black does offset it quite nicely. Um, bags are pretty identical, just list all the features. Put them back in there, open one of them up. You see here. Pretty nice. Some of these things are actually identical <laughs> to what you may already own on DVD, because they literally are DVDs. Just the two are Blu-rays. And the booklet that comes with it is printed on very nice paper. Feels very nice. And then folds out, tells you what's everything what's on the extras on the extra discs so you can navigate the menus if you want to. It's a nice touch. Now Let's bring out the UK version and see what entertainment and video have done this time. Ta da! Almost identical, which is nice. Um, obviously, immediate differences BBFC logo, Irish certificate, uh, BBFC certificate as well, sorry. You know, unfortunately, these are printed on, so you can't get rid of them, and I think immediately it does. It does mar the look of the box. Um, not massively, I suppose, but you know, if you like your packaging, it's a bit of a shame, but can't be helped. It's not really their fault. There's a legal requirement on the spine. The big difference, in a way, is that it's actually quite a bit thicker in the UK, surprisingly. Um, you can see how off, how uncentered that is. At least this is centered. <laughs> um, Blu-ray logo. I don't know why that's there, not on the American one, but there you go. Um, certificates again, entertainment video logo here, printed in white. Just see that. Um, printed on foil again, so it is reflective. It is embossed exactly the same as the American version, which is nice. The back is identical again, except without the certificates. You can see there. Feels more or less the same. Slight difference on the bottom barcode, which isn't present on the American version, but again, who's going to see that? Um, like I say, the main difference is the width. I've got to say, American version does feel a bit nicer in my hands. Maybe if you've got big hands, I don't know. You might prefer <laughs> this one. This feels a bit, a little bit more unwieldy, but it's a pretty small change. Um, open it up. What have we got inside? Same. Pretty much the same. 
obviously because it's um, slightly wider there's more black here printed just to make make uh, up for the space that's been added there you can see just slightly less here um, again it's foil printed same characters same everything same design let's bring out the American disc to compare here UK disc oh immediately blue you see that um, okay differences these differences are obviously more pronounced obviously you've got the certificates again legal requirement on the box but gotta say American version does look quite a bit nicer if you ask me this looks a little bit cheap with the blue um, not a major difference obviously but if you care then this is just so you know um, other difference you can't see so much in the video is this this is actually printed on foil as I mentioned before so this does look a little nicer it's kind of goldy this it's actually just printed on white paper normal printing nothing special about it um, and it does look a little bit less attractive to the eye when you see it um, again I just think that looks a little bit nicer obviously the spines this is where the difference in the boxes width comes from thicker on the UK version entertainment and video logo there marring the packaging um, small certificates big uh, catalog number which is not on the American one um, on the back again because of the legal requirements for the certificates you can see that everything has been slightly pushed up maybe you can really you know it's minor no one's really going to notice that too much, but it's got a little bit more room to breathe here. Um, okay. So, inside, let's have a look. More or less the same. Obviously, again, legal requirements for the certificates, so nothing major, but discs themselves, same printing. You can see that's cool. Here's the same artwork on all the discs. Which is nice, just again. Certificates. But otherwise, identical. Difference, I would say, the end of the difference, I, sh I should say, is, is on the paper quality in the booklets here. This does feel a lot cheaper, got to be said. It's just normal glossy printy paper, it doesn't feel parchmenty, and it does... Unfortunately, it's not very user-friendly, because if you want to get find out what's on your discs, you've really got to unfold the whole thing. Turn it upside down, it's a little bit more unwieldy, it's not too bad, it's exactly the same, really, other than that. Um, and the paper quality, as I say, is cheaper. It's, you know, it's fine, but it's not as nice. Um, here, let's remind you what this is like. This is nice, sort of more rough parchmenty. It's not that much different, but it, it does feel immediately nicer in the hand, I've gotta say. Um, this opens up like a booklet instead of just completely unfolding, only this bit unfolds, which I think is just a little bit nicer. But then, you know, how often are you can look at that? <laughs> I don't think I've ever really looked in the DVD one. But just so you know, if anyone's interested, there's the difference. So, not as much as the DVD differences this time, although I do think, as I say, it's up to you, but good to know that the UK version will come with the blue box, wider, not foil, and I just, you know, i going to say, doesn't look quite, I think, as nice. Better than that. Identical, pretty good job from Entertainment Video this time around, definitely better than the DVD. And that's it. That.